Yank, the Army Weekly, presents G.I. Jive. Here it is, fellas, the music you asked for, G.I. Jive, the AEF jukebox of the air. To get what you want in jazz, right. The only address you need is Special Service, Los Angeles, USA. Just put your request in and out will come your favorite bands and singing stars. The ship is riding majestically toward us like some great feather. It's burst into flames. Get it started. Get it started. It's, fri- it's crashing. It's crashing terrible. Oh, my. Get out of the way, folks. But we, this is terrible. This is the one of the worst catastrophes in the world. Oh, it's... I don't do it. I can't even talk to people. His friends are out there. We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. The Japanese have attacked Pearl Harbor, Hawaii, by air. President Roosevelt has just announced. Okay, Neil, we can see you coming down the ladder now. Okay. Neil Armstrong, 38-year-old American, standing on the surface of the moon on this July 20th, 1969. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. In every Chevrolet showroom across America, more and more people are looking at the car that's just out and just wonderful, the 1957 Chevrolet. Some are looking at Chevrolet's daring new front-end styling, the bold new grille, big, beautiful sloping hood. Some are looking at Chevy's handsome new rear end with high fashion fenders and fresh new design. Everyone's enthused about the new color-fashioned interiors and the sleek command post instrument panel. And the biggest news of all, Chevrolet's fuel injection. The greatest engine advance since the overhead valve. Plus, four famous drives topped by new exclusive turbo glide that brings you triple turbine takeoff and a new flowing kind of going. So visit your Chevrolet dealers soon. See the car that goes them all one better. Number one in the USA, the 57 Chevrolet. <laughs> 